Here we have a standard OTA upload sketch. All the relevant imports and the standard set of code and the OTA code with a little blink example at the bottom. And we just want to hit the OTA handle as often as possible to make sure we can still upload over the air. So this has been uploaded over serial already. And we've identified the IP address of our board using the Bonjour service. So here we can see it in the selection list. Now we can add a breakpoint in for our serial debugger set at the top left. And we can add the standard actions as with the serial debugger. So we'll add a log message and add one of our variables to watch. So and we'll stop up on that breakpoint as well. So now we're set up as normal for the serial debugger. Now, if we press F4, we can open the project properties. And you can use the advanced configuration defines to set things like your <coughs> SSID and, and password, as we have in this case, so that they're not uh, always visible or in the code. And the important step is to set the remote transport to UDP. So once that's set, you can close the properties. We've got our IP address set, debug serial set, so we can do a build and upload. And because we've already uploaded the OTA sketch, of course, th this will just go over the air to the board. So while that's loading, we'll just go to where we want to be in the code where we put our breakpoint. It will jump there automatically. And we can see it's sent the invitation to the board. If you want to actually see the, the update happening, you can switch to the, the normal COM port and you should see the, the updates coming through. So here we can see it's flashing the board at the moment. That's done. So. It's still plugged into my PC on the COM port, on the USB port as well at the moment, so we can close those. Now, here we see the serial output coming through. It says changed every time the LED changes state. We can see we've got our expressions window and our debugger buttons, which are all working over UDP, over the Wi-Fi. So we can step and watch our variables as normal and the serial port's just there so you could see, you know, what's normally happening. So now we're just down to the UDP connection. And I've closed the wrong window here. So I just need to, because I've gone and looked at the COM port, the easiest thing to do is to go and set the IP address back and then just connect again. and it'll launch the debugger for you. So here we can see it's stepping through the code. We can see our message as well as performance statistics because they're enabled. And there we have it, our completely wireless upload